Hey guys, Colonial Charter 1.4 is out, Curse of the Golden Llama, and oh my god, there's so much new stuff in this. Just take a look at this chart. There are, uh, there are 75 new items alone in this, in this new version. Let's take a look at some of the new stuff that's in here. There are over 30 new production buildings, and we'll take a look at the buildings in just a minute. There are new roads, there are red brick roads, there are new bridges including, look at this, this is a, uh, a drawbridge, the, the, the bridge actually raises, now it's not animated because you can't animate buildings in the game, but at least it's going to look like, like if you put this on a main river, that your trader vessels and, and ships can actually sail through and the bridge would raise up. New animals, we've got horses. There are 20 types, over 20 types of new food that we can trade. Uh, there are new luxury items, new decorations, and these are awesome. There are street lanterns, there's loads of flowers, trees. Oh my God, they've added so many trees to the game. All kinds of different types. There are, there are statues, and not just stone statues, there are marble statues, jade statues, oh, and you have to mine for that stuff, and we'll talk about the new mines in a minute. We've got uh, new map starts. We've got a desert terrain now. There are a, a brand new starting conditions, and some of them are specific to uh, Curse of the Golden Llama. Uh, I will talk about that. Uh, Mediterranean climates and marine climates. Look at all the new vegetables and fruits that there are. I mean, like l lemons and limes and mangoes and nectarines and oranges and pineapples. Love all of that stuff. New crops, sugar beet, which is a new way of getting uh, sugar, and ginger, which is gatherable from the gatherer's hut. The new resources, I mean, it's as huge as uh, lumber, marble, jade, bone meal, gemstones, gold, uh, which you can turn into golden gilders and silver that you can turn into silver fenigs. Um, feathers that you get from chicken, rugs, pottery, bedding and furniture that you need to make advanced houses now. Uh, oysters, jerky, bacon, just so much stuff. Let's take a look at the new buildings. We've got the smokehouse. Now this smokes meats into uh, all kinds of delicious things. Very, very cool. I, I like the building. And uh, we've got the tidal pool. Now this opens up uh, new shellfish like mussels and crayfish and seaweed. Very cool. And what have we got? The, the, the fuel refinery. Now the fuel refinery takes um, uh, natural resources, burnable natural resources, and converts them into uh, a different type of fuel, which is used in smelters. And it lasts longer and it burns hotter and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we've got the, uh, the bedding maker. And the bedding maker, combined with the, uh, the joiner, uh, create uh, bedding and furniture which you can use to make houses. In fact, you need to make advanced houses. So all those fancy houses, well, ah, not as easy anymore. Got all, we've got to make all kinds of stuff. Right, the um, the, the potter, uh, th this is another one. The, the, he makes pottery, which is needed for advanced buildings. Uh, you've got uh, a new dock, the smuggler's dock, which employs a bootlegger. And uh, he can bring you in uh, luxury items uh, but you need the gold to pay for them. And then there's the, uh, I, I said we talk about mines. We've got the precious mine. Now this is um, for precious metals, gold, silver, and rough gemstones, which then have to be uh, polished into uh, into polished gemstones. <laughs> and then we've got the place of mine. This is one of my favorite buildings. I love this. Um, this is like just a, a little shack with um, with a sluice. So, you, so we, you, you've got people panning for gold and silver in the rivers. I think that is awesome. Uh, we've got the statue carver. And the, the statue carver takes uh, uh, wood, stone, jade, marble. And he makes statues that you can either trade or you can place around your town. Uh, we've got the melting house. Now, this takes gold and silver and converts them into uh, golden, Guinness, uh, golden guilders and silver fenix that you can use for trade and for a few other things. Uh, this is a very cool building, the Chartered Company. And uh, this is used for trading. And they'll, they'll, they'll pack and exchange goods for all kinds of stuff. 
and you can order stuff on demand. They do incur an 8% tax increase over normal trade prices, so just watch out for that. The building supplier. Now, this packages various resources which are, which are needed for building advanced buildings. Uh, it's going to be a fairly critical building when you start using this. With, I, I love this. We've got a little wood chopper. This is a, 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 a smaller version of the, uh, the woodcutter. And it's literally just a, a, a little pile and it takes a lot, uh, a lot less resources to build. Very, very useful at the beginning of the game. Uh, another another uh, little version, the saw pit. This is a method of creating lumber, but it's much slower than, uh, than other methods of creating lumber. But it only takes a few resources, so you can get this going very early. Uh, the logging barge. This is a, a, a way of collecting either logs or hardwood. We'll talk about hardwood in a second. Um, but you have to pay for this using silver fenigs. I do, and I love this. There are so many new Keyside buildings. Keysides are just going to look incredible. We've got the Hardwood Forester. I told you we talk about hardwood. Now, the Hardwood Forester is, is like a regular forester, but he will only produce trees for hardwood and, uh, and plant new ceilings for hardwood trees, which are used for various things, as we'll see. Uh, shipyards. Now, this builds hull, what are called hull components, and they're uh, used uh, for waterside docks and wharfs and various things. Uh, the gem cutter. Now, this I, I said you have to take rough gems and then you have to polish them up. Well, this is the guy that cuts them and polishes them into polished gemstones that you can then use for trading and also in some of the production chains. Uh, apo the apothecary. Now, the apothecary creates medicine. Uh, and produces remedies from uh, all kinds of ingredients. That's uh, a, a, a new version. So it's not just the, the herbs and the doctors. We've now got the apothecary. The key side options. There are, what, f I think five new barns. This is the small barn. But there's also a quayside brewery. There's a dry storage, a meat locker, and a fishery. And I'm really pleased that they've produced um, a different version from the fishing dock, which uh, blends in much nicer with the quayside. Oh, I'm going to be using a lot of those. And this is probably my favourite building from, uh, from 1.4. The small market, so you don't have to have those great big markets uh, everywhere anymore. You can just put in one of these little markets. So if you're creating li like, li like little uh, side areas, like little villages away from the main town, you can just put one in one of these small markets. I love that building. Then we've got a couple of new chapels. So again, no longer are we stuck with one type of chapel. We've got this Dutch chapel, which is awesome. And you, you actually get this from uh, pressing the F key. So if you take the, the, the regular chapel and you press the F key, you'll get all three variations. And the, the, the second variation is this Swedish chapel, which... I, I love these buildings. I think they've done a fantastic job on the artwork for these buildings. So there you go. That's the new buildings. That's uh, the new content. The production chains are even more complex than they were in Excellent Adventure. And there is a production chart which shows you all of the production chains. So like Brickworks and is making different types of jam and and this is a very long list. There's only one downside. I, I wish they'd included tooltips. You have to know what the icons are. The, you can't just mouse over and know. You, like, you've got to know that this is flour. You've got to know that these are sugar cookies. But um, there is uh, a chart that you can print out. Uh, which uh, which shows you all the different icons and tells you what they are. And to be honest, you do get to know them uh, pretty quickly. Uh, this is going to be absolutely staggering. If you want to see me play this, I'm starting a, a Let's Play series, Curse of the Golden Llama. Uh, I'll provide a link to it in the description, and I'll probably put a link on the screen right now. Guys, I will see you in the Let's Play. Go play, go download this game. It'll be on Steam in the next day or two. Uh, it is downloadable from, uh, I think, from Black Liquid's site. Go get it. I'll see you in the Let's Play. Enjoy it. Peace out.